So like I said before, if this is your first time of taking a Laravel tutorial, don't worry, it's all going to uh, start making sense because we have not really started coding, we're just uh, setting things up, alright, so that the rest of the coding will be super, super easy, alright. So remember that this URL in Laravel, this is the URL that people will visit, that, that is your domain.com slash this, people will visit it, then it will go to this login controller.php and call up this method. So let's go to login controller.php and call up this method. Remember that this is the URL that Facebook is going to send the data. Somebody logs in with this. Facebook sends the whole data of the person to this. All right. So we go to app uh, HTTP. That's where the controllers are. And we're looking for login controller. And inside login controller, we're looking for handle provider callback. So login controller, look at it. Handle provider callback. So let us do something really interesting where we'll do DD. In Laravel, when you do DD, it's the same thing with var dump in PHP, normal PHP, you understand? So, uh, sort of the same thing. So, DD, we're going to DD this user, which uh, will contain the list. This will contain the the payload that is coming back from, from Facebook. So, we want to just see what's coming back, all right? So, I'm just going to go back, go to our voting app, refresh. Uh, we might have an error of um, SSL that we have to fix, but apart from that, we're good to go. If we click on this, um, no message. We have to go back and try again. All right, see, um, that exactly what we're trying to avoid. Facebook is telling us that it doesn't recognize the URL we're working with. It's saying uh, this redirect failed because the redirect URL is not whitelisted. So uh, let's try and debug that. Um, let's get to our code. In config services, config services. Remember the first time we set this up. So it's telling us that this is not white whitelisted. So we're going to go to web.php. This is the, the correct redirect URL. We'll copy it, uh, go to services, and we're going to paste it here. The reason uh, this should work, first of all, let's test it out to see that it works. So um, we're essentially going to come to our app and click on this. Of course, no message. Uh, we're going to get back. You see, it works now. You understand? The reason it works is that we've actually listed it here. That's the URL we listed here. This Look at it. Auth redirect URL we listed in this Facebook app. That is this. So if it doesn't match, Facebook is going to throw error. So now it matches and we're good to go. Okay, so if I click continue as Dave, um, the next code we wrote to show us the data will we'll throw up right now. All right, especially, um, you'll, you'll be seeing this a lot. What you'll be looking at is whether there's no message. If there's no message here, then you're good. It's just a breaking transmission. When you're still coding, you'll be seeing it a lot. So we're going to try it one more time. Exactly. This is what we're looking for. Like I told you, we're going to see an SSL error. There's a, there are two main ways to fix it. Uh, we'll just take the easier path and I'll show you the more uh, comprehensive path to take. All right, guys, the solution is tricky, but once we fix it for this Laravel application, we will never see that error for any other uh, application that we will ever develop. Uh, basically, the problem is with the setup of our, of our server. It is not set up for SSL. So to set it up, what we're going to do is um, go to this URL. This is curl.hxxe. Let me zoom in so you can see. Um, all right. So go to this URL and download, copy the entire page and save it as casets.pm. So we're going to go there and copy the entire page. Really? 
click on this oh see it has already downloaded ca uh, set.pm so we're gonna have to copy it and uh, paste it uh, inside our server and then go and edit our php.ini file so we're good we show an folder so i've copied mine i didn't show you how i copied it but i just did this showing folder and i copied it so i'm gonna have to go paste it in my php.ini so if you go to your c drive go to WAMP sys4 that is if you're using WAMP server if you're not using WAMP server then uh, you should find your own server that you're using and uh, basically you want to paste it somewhere that is it's easy to reach so i'm going to WAMP bin to paste mine here or well, basically since it's a php file uh, i can paste it anywhere close to this place so paste so i want to rename it set.pm all right now we need to copy the the url to uh, the address to where it is it is in uh c one is for being uh php um this so i've copied this then as you can see there are three php files first of all we'll start with this go to php.ini this is the file we're looking for we open it and uh, when we open it we're looking for call info call kai info so we go to curl.ca uh, that's what we're looking for we found it that's the line so when we get to the line we're going to click on this and one step back so once we remove this it is uncommented now we're going to paste the the address or the path to our um our file so we do c a c e l t dot p e n that's it so and we have to put it inside quotes so i've copied this so that i don't have to repeat myself in the next php.ini file i've saved it uh, now i've saved it i can close but just for safety you don't want to um start pulling yourself around and wondering why things are not working i will go straight and do it in all the php files that we have i will go to php.ini for the second php uh, crl.ca and there we are and um, paste this works save close go back and um, go for the php.ini for the last one call.car and we're good save Now we've saved we can now um, restart our server we need to restart this server so if we come here uh, for your own case you might just exit it and restart it all, all, all together but you can just say restart all services so i'll pause this video till it is uh, all services are restarted now um, to know uh, when all services are restarted you should wait for this to turn green again okay so i'm pausing the video right now okay so i'm done setting it up and my server is done rebooting now what uh, many people where many people make mistake is that they don't restart their server you have to come and restart your server so i'm gonna your uh, your laravel server so i'm gonna do ctrl c on my keyboard if you press ctrl c twice it will quit your laravel server then you have to uh press the up arrow key on your keyboard as it up cursor key it will bring out the last command you run and then hit enter just to run your server again once your server is running again uh, you can now come here and refresh refresh the login page and now we're going to test it we we'll click on login of course uh we're going to have to go back click on this login like i told you you're going to have to you're, you're going to be running into this uh, kind of page many times so if we go if we refresh this page now this is login facebook we will visit it now we're gonna see something so this is it so uh this request has sent back this thing from facebook the reason why this is here is because if you go to a login controller we have told it to output the data that comes back from facebook so once it receives this data from facebook the user's details it should dump everything on the screen so that we can see it 
So if we look at the screen, you see that it's coming with the user ID, the nickname, there's no nickname, the name, the partner, the email, and the Facebook profile picture. You see? And then if you click on user, and here is another profile picture, right? So they are of different sizes, okay? And then this is the URL of the person's Facebook profile. And then if you click on the user, you're going to see more details like email, gender, whether the person is verified on Facebook and ID, you know? So this kind of looks cool for what we want. And uh, in the next video, instead of just uh, putting the data on the screen, we're going to uh, check if user is registered. Then um, a register user, if not, then we're going to uh, uh, log user in. Okay, so that's what we'll do in the next video. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. I'll just walk over everything one more time, just in case uh, you don't uh, get what we just did.